Greeting internet friends, welcome to another exciting episode of Dabbling with Dan. Today I'm going to go over how I pressure wash my house. And a few years ago, I purchased this uh, pressure washer from a local uh, hardware store. And I have to admit, this is probably one of the best purchases I've ever made. Now, I'd like to go over a few things about the pressure washer prior to using. Uh, right here is the gas tank. Uh, certainly, I want to make sure it's filled up with good quality gasoline. Uh, this white uh, tank right here would be used for putting a chemical in. Um, there's a certain nozzle that you have to use, I'll go over that here in a minute, to draw that fluid out if you want to go ahead and put a cleaning agent on the house and then pressure wash it with one of these other nozzles. Uh, the very important thing here is your oil level. If you don't use uh, the proper oil and or check the level and make sure it's clean, uh, that could really damage your motor as well as your pump. Uh, the PPE I'm going to be wearing and using today include uh, uh, impact resistant uh, tinted uh, glasses because uh, I'm outside here and the reflection of the sun it gets kind of hard on the eyes. I also will be using ear protection and uh, I'll be wearing a nice uh, hat to keep the sun off my eyes, face and ears and whatnot. And also uh, I use a little bit of sunscreen. This is a SPF 100 that's uh, water uh, resistant because I'll be out here for at least uh, a few hours and I don't want to go ahead and uh, walk away here with a clean house and a real bad sunburn. Well, what I've done here first is this is the garden hose and as you can see the water's running right now. I usually will leave the hose on before I attach it and let water run through it to go ahead and get make sure there's no dirt or debris because there's a small filter in here and if it gets clogged up, it could starve the pump. Um, now I'm just going to attach it. I'll kink it so I can attach. And then once I open it up, I can hear the water rushing through the pump. And this is the high pressure hose that came with the pressure washer. And I'm allowing that water to run through here to get all the air out. And at the end, you can actually kind of hear the air bubbles blowing out. You get a good stream. Now, these have a certain way to, you have to pull this back for it to lock on. Now, my, uh, pressure washer gun, I'm going to push the safety and pull the trigger and then attach and make sure it's good and locked in. And right now what you can see here is a stream of water. This is just my normal house water pressure, which I'm not sure what the pressure is. It's probably anywhere between 30 and 60 PSI. Certainly not enough to go ahead and pressure wash a house with. That's what you use the pump and the motor and helps boost it up. Okay. So, because uh, I've got different nozzles, I should kind of go over that. The vinyl siding on my house, uh, about once a year I usually pressure wash it because it gets mold and grime on it and it actually kind of looks bad. So, I've got three nozzles to choose from. The first nozzle, this is the highest pressure, it goes all the way up to 3100. And I don't want to use that because what it is, it's almost like a stream. And that could actually, if I get too close, actually cut through the vinyl. Uh, the next one down, uh, it's a 15 degree, uh, that's the kind of how it shoots the water out. And it's all the way up to 2900 PSI. Still a little bit too high, I think, for vinyl. The next one down, which is uh, the one I have on there, it's white. It's a 40 degree angle. And it has up to 2600 PSI at the nozzle which is more than enough. So here I will uh, demonstrate how to start this thing up but because it's kind of loud uh, I'll roll it away but the first thing I'm going to do is press, uh, depressurize this line by letting some water come on out. Make sure I got my gasoline on and choke it if I need to, and let's give it a tug. You can 
Just give me one second. By rolling it away, you need to scare me a little bit better. So right now, this wand has the 40 uh, angle, and basically what you can do, you can, by twisting this when the pressure stream is off, you can affect which direction that angle is going. But you don't want to do that while it's running, because that could actually cut your finger. All right. I'm going to take you with me here and kind of show you something. So as you can see, this is some of the algae. And I, I hit this with water a little earlier. And it comes up pretty easy, but with this pressure washer, you'll see how, how really easy it washes off. Uh, so I did the bottom. And of course, I want you to see how it does as I'm doing it. So you have the before and after effect. And of course you see the gutters, the gutters got some dirt and grime on it as well. So to get it started, I'm just gonna depressurize this red safety button, pull my handle, So as you see, kind of the before and after, so just using that wa high pressure water washes that off. But for some of that stubborn, what I'll, stubborn grime, I used uh, some soap and water and a scrub brush, and I'll just go ahead and use a little bit of elbow grease to help kind of knock some of this down. Then knock it off with the uh, high pressure water. So again, uh, you know, the pressure washer I have obviously is, is a gasoline. It's a motor, running a pump, pushing the pressure up of that water. And depending on what nozzle you have on it, you can increase that pressure. Uh, I know that they have electric pressure washers you can get at hardware stores. They generally don't have as high a pressure uh, rating, uh, but they're good for you know, maybe washing your car or whatnot. Um, and then there's industrial pressure washers that uh, some of them will heat water to uh, basically uh, increase that cleaning ability and their pressures are a little bit higher. Um, now, my pressure washer with the highest rating, uh, that stream, if you get pretty close to concrete, it could actually uh, kind of score it a little bit. But uh, I know that there's a company that my employer brings in every once in a while to pressure wash stuff and their pressure washer, I'll tell you what, it can cut into concrete. It's pretty powerful. Well, you know, having a pressure washer in your garage arsenal to clean around the house, it's paid for itself. Uh, I actually got this pressure washer uh, for actually a few hundred dollars because it was a return. And uh, if I would have hired somebody to pressure wash this house just one time, it's paid for itself, and I've had it for about five or six years. I'll use it for, you know, just washing cars. Um, this home here also has, like, a plastic decking, which is 
I highly recommend it. I don't know the brand name of it, but it's really soft on your feet. But it gets, uh, it's porous, so it gets grime and dirt in it. And this pressure washer uh, will just pull that dirt right on out and uh, it makes it look really nice. I have uh, probably about two thirds of this house left to go. Uh, it'll be about three more hours doing it, but uh, I just wanted to show you just a, a small segment of what this uh, piece of equipment can do and how it can go ahead and help you keep your house looking pretty. I hope you enjoyed this video. Everybody stay safe out there. Y'all have a good day. Take care. Bye.